Monday, um, and it is Monday way day. Monday way day. We always weigh our turkeys in on a Monday just to kind of keep track of how they're progressing. Um, just trying to get them up to a good weight before we process them. It's getting pretty close. So last we weighed them, they were 31 and 32, 32 pounds, I believe. Pounds. They're always about right around a pound difference. One's yeah. a little bit smaller than the other, but um, so that's what we're doing today. Get them weighed in, see how they're growing. Uh, it's been a week, like I said, we do it every Monday. Try to um, What else? So how do we end up with turkeys? Well, oh, um, kind of strange. Well, what did we, what did we ordered a surprise so, box from yeah, Cackle Hatchery. A, it's a hatchery surprise, and it's a box, it's called a hatchery surprise, but it's a box that comes from the Cackle Hatchery out of Lebanon, Missouri. If you've never heard of a surprise, it's the, I keep calling it a surprise box, it's a hatchery surprise. Um, I will put a link in the description below. Um, and so you can kind of read about it, but basically what it is is They will send you 40 to 50 birds roughly and you don't choose the sex. You don't choose the breed You don't know what you're getting. What kind of turkeys are they? Um, they're the commercial Like the commercial ones the white breasted broad-breasted white turkeys Broad-breasted oh. whites <laughs> Broad-breasted whites. So, so they're right about six months now. Um, I yeah, pretty much so I'm hoping for about 35 pounds which is our last that would have given them four pounds four to five pounds so i'm hoping for about 35 36 pounds when we weigh them so let's check it out and see how big they actually are let's right. do it Okay, so the way or, we got them weighed. We got them weighed, and the results are 34 and a half and 35.2 pounds, um, which is pretty good considering we have free ranging turkeys and they're not in a factory, um, pretty much couch potato all day. Yeah, so it, they're right on track where they where they've been progressing about the same every time we weigh them. So that's pretty good. Um, and they aren't, they're not growing as fast as like a commercial production because they do have, um, what is it, right around 2,000 square foot Can this run. It's, it's like free range, but I guess technically it is a free range, but they're still fenced in, but it's about 2,000 yeah. square foot. They were um, free ranging before though. 2,000 square foot area that they're in, so. Because uh, we had them actually free ranging on this one acre, um, but they were getting on the porch. They were getting in the garden and dogs were chasing them. So I figured it'd be better for them to be in their own little area. So they still got quite a big area, but that's, they're able to walk around, run around. And I think that's why they're not getting so big so fast, which is fine by me. Um, so yeah. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our second, second video. Yes, second video of the series, so. Yep. If you're finding this information kind of fun, useful, whatever, if you like it, uh, just let us know what you would like to see more of maybe, and um, try to get some of that stuff in the videos. There's a few more things. We can show a garden. Um, I don't know. We have some more stuff coming up, so. Yeah. Um, or at least planned. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Again, um, real quick, the Cackle Hatchery surprise box is in the description. Look, he's getting on the film. Yeah, I'll put the link of the Cackle Hatchery's Hatchery Surprise Box down below if you're interested in finding out some more information on that. And that's kind of cool too because, real quick, they also have a Facebook group that's not really affiliated with Cackle Hatchery, but they kind of they talk to the hatchery about letting them set this up. And so it's a group of people that um, will go in there and they'll take pictures of their young chicks when they get them since you don't know what you're getting in the box. And you take pictures of them and post them on there and you say what is this what do i have here what do y'all think this is and people will come in there and comment people that are really good at you know identifying these babies um we'll get in there and they'll say it looks like you have this or whatever and give you good information on it so that was kind of fun to do and um, i think it was really worth it so i'll put the link down below if you want to check that out and if you've never seen the hatchery surprise box before yep but uh that's it for today
Till next time, you guys.